Okay, hi everyone. Welcome to Lance and Play Dead Cells. Uh, I think I'm gonna try and bit of, do a bit of a confidence building run. It's been about a week since I played last. Um, and the last time I was playing, just a couple times actually, wasn't going too well. Lost, lost a lot of runs in a row without making much progress. So uh, I think I'm gonna go try the Rampart again. And, uh, One run to make myself feel better. Let myself know what I can play the game. Generally, kind of get back into the groove of things. We got a sassy dagger to start off here. And a carry shield that, if I use it, will do increased damage. I do do damage to the enemy I block. What does it do? What does it do? It does 211 damage. 11 damage. So a little bit more than my, uh, my, or my twin daggers. So you guys are pretty, pretty hit there. Balance blade one. Um, I think I prefer twin daggers to the balance blade. They're the same level. So we're gonna be looking for the rain part. I think I will try and really explore to uh, try and get Afterwards, the rally mechanic, like in Bloodborne, if you've ever played that, where if you get hit and you attack an enemy pretty soon after, you get your health back from that damage. So that's a thing that you should strive to take advantage of. Be aggressive, I guess, is the uh, lesson there. Um, I also think I should maybe take a different approach, and instead of going for damage like my gut tells me I should do, go for health when I have the choice. I'm kind of build an HP base. I'm gonna try that this run, see how it works out. So I can get a level two blood sword, throw the grenade, cause bleeding. Um, I think that's gonna wake up. There's a scroll in there or something, or a significantly better weapon. I'd go with it, but uh, as it stands, it's not going to be necessary for me to want to fork over the money, I think. Ooh. I thought he would get knocked out of that attack. That was wrong. Keep going here. We can always heal if we need to when things start looking a little bit more rough. Start training, do that too. Start really focusing on doing that. Let me go ahead and go to the promenade here. We've already missed our time gate. That's okay. I don't remember what I was even working on. Oh, the next, uh, next healing potion. Okay. It's gonna be a minute before we finish that up. 
after that, I think I'm probably going to start playing on weapons again for a little bit. Maybe try and unlock all the weapons and then do, uh, do money, or maybe I should just focus on getting more money to make it. Keep in mind that that's there, and keep using it. Um, if I find another skill, I might find it prudent to do a skill upgrade or two, just to get our cooldowns lower, if nothing else. So that's always really handy. And we can maybe even more reliably take out flying enemies that way. There it is, effective. Cooldown, little. Longer than I would like to reliably be using it all the time. If you start doing those skill upgrades, you can pretty much spam your abilities. But, uh, they do a lot more damage too, of course, but the flashbang's not very damaging in the first place, so not too worried about that part of it. Keep going here. We still haven't found our second, uh, our second. Aggression upgrade. We got a 9 second cooldown on the flashbang. Alright, we got lots of money though, so we could make some good use of the shop. See what we find in this chest here. Uh, level three blood sword. I'm glad it's a level two one now. It's gonna be a sword that calls bleeding for us. How much damage does it do? 130. Still not great. Just a big bonus. That uh, that display there really got in my way. It's unfortunate. I like the free health upgrades. Which is nice. Pretty big HP pool by the time we're done here. Uh, let's see, what, upon death victims freeze nearby enemies, okay. So that could be pretty useful. I have to uh, maybe use that and we'll find a freezing synergy of some kind. Maybe not. But anyway, we'll strive to make some good use of it. The bleed stacks up and some pretty, pretty good damage. When we did beat that first boss, most of the boss, free with a bleed damage. They're the three that are pretty helpful. Yeah, that's nice. Cool. We're making our way through here. Trying to avoid taking too much damage. Not because I think we're having trouble beating the promenade here, but more because I want to just try and do better about taking damage and be a little more careful about how I play in this game in general. And, uh, this is the last. That's the last one. Um, and this is the last one. Shield there, and I'll go back to the last thing afterwards, kind of. Messed up a flow of things. Um, but yeah, the last few runs we've not been playing great. We've punished by losing it. So, we really want to make try to improve all those categories. Um, I think we might have to do a damage upgrade here too, at some point. Because it's so block and base damage. Maybe the next upgrade, I mean. Upgrades do seem like I don't know. I'm gonna stick with just buying both upgrades for now. Um, just gonna try that this run. May not be the best decision, but I'm gonna see how it pans out. I gotta remember this this uh blood sword doesn't have any real stun on it. A little bit it seems. It doesn't seem to be very reliable though, I should not. Rely on it. To kill the enemies without getting hit. 
head and make it to the exit in the same time. I think, I think it's doable. This is the one challenge we have completed before. So, uh, so, uh, we're gonna strive to keep doing it. Sorry, I'm being quiet here. I'm trying to really concentrate on being a little better at the game. Um, oh, and then goes our challenge. That's okay. We made it pretty well. Um, we got a little too, a little too ham on that enemy. You know, I think we could probably block the that guy. Probably do really well for us. Huh. Block that guy, but he didn't to do the damage. I wonder if I have to. I wonder if I'm going to the parry. Do it like right after the attack. There's a little bit of a delay there. I'm just trying to be too tricky on that one. Okay. I'm just gonna heal. No reason not to. I'm trying to get a little tricky with that one. And, uh, trying to hit him in flight, but that didn't really work out. Okay, you go on HP, like I said. You get the electric whip level 3, which I don't love. The grenade would be really helpful. Get gold when you get a dead cell. Mm. Go with a grenade. Grenade level three, so it does some pretty decent damage. And we now got two skills, which is very handy. So if I do start upgrading damage at any point, I'm gonna want to do skills. I think. Oh god. So we got one that will benefit greatly. Well, they'll both benefit greatly from the cooldown aspect. But um, one that's gonna benefit a lot more from the damage aspect. We get a lot out of it. We get two reliable, good, we get skills. Uh, we should be using a bomb all the time. I honestly, I think I need to start using skills more. I would, I would kind of fall into the habit of uh, not using skills even when I had good ones. I'm not using them enough. Really, it should be lose anything for using them. So I should be spamming them all the time. What is this? It's really interesting. I haven't seen that before. Um, I feel like we're coming to the end of this floor, so I'd be surprised if we get the gold to make it happen. Um, but I would like to see what it is. It looks pretty neat. But uh, we'll see. We'll see. Um, there's still a lot in this game. A lot in this game that I have yet to see. I've only made it to a lot of floors like once or twice. We definitely want to keep playing to explore and to get more items, because I'm sure I haven't seen most of the items that we had to offer. Maybe I have, but I guess still really active, so a lot of the content that will presumably be there when the game releases is not yet. Yeah. Okay, that was a little confusing and dicey. Or an elite right here. It needs even notice. Of all the elite enemies to fight, I think the Grenadier is probably, probably pretty pretty okay. I feel like they a lot of damage down. Other than the other series, not uh, Alright, right. Um, I'm definitely gonna want to heal after that. That was a soft enemy there. We got a topaz amulet, damage taken reduced by 10%, collect cells and gold without needing to be in range. Good. That's a nice little thing to have. We're pretty. pretty built up defensively. I think. Now we really need to start looking at increasing our damage. I can't do anything here. Um, so we got near enough to 400 HP, and we take 10% less damage. So I feel like defensively we're covered, and I would feel pretty comfortable now starting to pump points into um, some more offensive abilities, like getting some better skills up. So our grenade does more damage and flashbangs don't come off them. Good things. 
I mean, technically the flashbang will deal more damage and the grenade will be able to be used more often as well, but the ones I'm most concerned about. We're good to see the ramparts again. I like the ramparts a lot. I like the design a little more. The color scheme is cool. I have less trouble fighting here. Um, very much the way these guys look. I do definitely want to go back to the sewers though. I'll probably after this run go back to the sewers. Um, I come here for a little bit of a confidence. But hopefully I can get right back into it after this. It just beat the piss out of the sewers. I think I also had some, some bad luck. Um, with what we ended up fighting in the that pretty, pretty tough to without one of those runs. out there and there was like a big kind of mini boss fight I suppose. I didn't even notice there were grenades. What does that die? Grenades? Fires a volley of arrows. Yeah. Cool. I do like I really like all the animations, it's like the little like pause he does before the swing comes out. It's really cool. Um it can be a little bit of time for sometimes when you're trying to attack. But uh it is a cool little touch in the animation. I mean, the animation is really, really great. really enjoy them. It's always fun getting a new weapon just to see what it looks like when you're attacking with it. We'll activate the teleporter. Descend to the tower. Take dumb damage like I just did there. They want to get back to a shop and buy a scroll of power. Now these are the rooms you're always talking about. Hopefully just use our skills on them pretty repeatedly. Cool. Worked out. Worked out. Oh, got it. Ooh, had some slowdown there. That was on my end. That wasn't the stream dropping frames or anything. Weird, I haven't had seen slowdown like that before in this game. At least not that I recall. Oh. It will stun you. Be careful about that. Be wide open for other enemies to come in and make you have a real bad time. Yeah, I'm really, really, uh, I'd love to see some more damage. Starting to get a little ridiculous in that Really, really, regular enemies are just taking too long to kill. Oh, that was me. I'll come right off the ledge there. I wonder if the one two hit from the blood sword kind of suggests that I should be doing more of a more of like a one two and then back off approach with this weapon. And I think I probably should uh, get in all this I can when I can still. I should just oh skills exactly what we want that. how things are going. This is a really long tower. Normally they don't seem to go on this long. Got our item chest. I think there's one of these per floor. The ice bombs. So I could probably just replace the flashbang with the ice bombs. The ice grenades. Yeah. Reduces chance of unfreezing an enemy when attacking. Okay. Yeah, I think I'm just going to replace the flashbang with the ice grenade. There's a little more damage. Um... 
Simpsy does the same thing, I think. I don't really know the difference stunning and freezing in this game. And they're slowed down afterwards, and I think maybe break it out of the freeze of your attack. Um, whereas the stun, you just kind of... Um, whereas the stun lasts and you can actually keep attacking them. That'd be my guess as to how it works. Especially judging by the text on the frost bar. Saying that it reduces your chance of unfreezing them, that's what would lead me to believe that. But uh, we're gonna keep exploring here. Let's move on up the tower. And there's a free. Uh, oh, you want to Bob? Bob. Yeah, bombs are starting to do some pretty, pretty good damage. One shot that archer. Still, uh, gotta watch out for enemies attacking us. Really be smarter about that. Free weapon damage increase is nice as well. Here. Did I just knock him off? Oh, I did. Cool. Just knocked him off the ledge. Killed him. That's nice. Worked out in my favor. Ooh, forgot some, uh, some money there. On climbing, go to the right side, push out. So, uh, I'm really, uh, well, things are going to got no shrink of grid. Yes, I have way more luck in uh, this area. Or maybe it's just the viewers are loaded in harder. So just struggling with that level of moment. But uh, this is working pretty well so far as a little confidence booster. Not really sure. I'm not really sure if HP is a way to go. I mean, having that big HP pool is really nice. I definitely think maybe we should start looking at HP upgrade or two every run, making sure we got like a base level of like three or something. Um, feeling pretty good with where it's at now. Of course, this tune may change once I start fighting a boss, but. Uh, we can go for more skills here. We've got some pretty good ones. And they seem to scale really well. Like your attack, your weapon attack speed is really better when you get weapon upgrades. Your skills do. You can them more often. So uh, it kind of feels like the better way to go. I'm not sure if that's accurate or not though. Sapphire aiming all the damage you take is dealt to near... It was also dealt to near you can jump three times in the air. That's really good. I like that. I really don't want to replace one of my skills with a flashbang. I could get a broadsword. Massive damage. Bonus damage to a frozen target, which we're going to be doing a lot of. I think that's worth it. We'll just replace our... Uh... You know, just replace our shield. We're not using it. Um, and now we can make enemies bleed, and then once they're frozen, we crash the broadsword. How do you get over here? Feels good. I got another shrink that works. Is there a shrink in uh. No, a shrink in four now. That's crazy. I haven't purchased a single shrink upgrade. I've actually been them out in the wild. Or I've picked a single one, rather. They've all been chosen for me. Got oil grenades. Um. Good hold with fire. But it's not a better rank than any of our current skills, and we don't have anything that causes fire, whereas we got a little bit more interactions with what we got now. So I think I want to stick with that. I wonder if there's any way to get up there. I don't know. Not, not with our current loadout. Maybe if we take that triple jump, it's like, like an impossibility. Okay, and let's go to the Black Bridge. Fight our boss. Pump more in here, and we're getting much closer. We've pumped uh, like 50 or 60 cells into that. Yeah. So that's nice. Okay. So we want to freeze them. I guess we want to stack bleeding, freeze them, and hit with a broadsword. It's kind of our, our primary plan. It's our plan. We'll try and stick to it. Me. 
that's crazy. Oh, I don't really want to mess with this little off possible. Took a little damage there, but... Without using the one I did, but I didn't, just didn't feel safe about it. I make sure I didn't die stupidly when I could have not. Um, but yeah, that went really well. I'm happy with that. He went down pretty easy. It's getting better and better. It's like a critical blow if the victim is up against a wall. Interesting. We'll look forward to play with that at some point. I'm uh, not sure how useful it's going to be practically, but uh, we'll tool around with it and see someday. Not right now, but uh, yeah, we'll definitely do it at some point. We're back to the frog. A little frog We want to make sure we avoid that. Wow, that's crazy. Blueprint for the meat grinder, that seems like a really cool one. So I think what we want to do is if we can freeze them with the blood sword too, then we can do... That is so good. If we freeze them with the blood sword too, then we can do damage. We can do our extra damage with um, the broad sword as well. Let's go ahead and go in here. Level design in the frog fjord. So, uh, so, frog fjord, excuse me, it's so weird. Um, in the hopes that it's a better ice grenade. I think it's the. Nope, it's a, two levels higher, so it's straight up better. It's gonna do. It looks like just 14 more damage. Frost related slowdown lasts longer. The victim suffers bleed damage when it thaws out. I think I actually like the bonus better on our ice grenade form, but we're gonna go with this one just to see. If you really hate it, we can come back and pick up our old one. I'm not worrying too much. We've gotta be careful about how we approach this situation. Until that faded off, but uh, I reckon we got our cooldown back for us. But uh, I'm not sweating it too much, it still went okay. I really like. We got good weapon synergies going on. We're having a good time. We're exploring this zone I've only been to once before. Let's uh, great shield six and twin daggers. Twin daggers do anything cool? Enemies release a toxic cloud when they die. Eh. Balance blade does more damage to stun targets. Search grenade. Fire and piercing freezes enemies. I mean, freezing enemies struck by it could be really handy. Just could freeze them and then win with the broadsword, but I don't have the money. I don't know how much I love it. I do like it. take your enemies. But like even saying that they're like I bought it off. Really didn't use the meat much at all. Um, I'm not sure it's practice. We're using it here a lot against some of the uh all the crowd. Oh that was one shot of didn't it? Well, I really like these guys. These guys are really cool. Cool looking designs. But, uh, I'm really excited to 
Never see you. Good big remind me of a Definitely feels evocative of that. Okay, we definitely want to make it through here. We got a couple of blueprints that I'd love to turn in. Well, I think just one, but it's a cool sounding one. We need to ever hope to see that or turn it in and be able to buy it if we need to. Finish the fjord here. The reason I really want to do that is because these get rather complicated, and I remember the last time I completed this zone, I had to kind of stumble my way around for a while because, uh, because I couldn't find the exit. It was hit somewhere in the level. And, uh, I didn't see that. It was bad. I didn't know exactly where. Uh, that caused some issues. They're going to rain down death on him, right? He can't do shit about it. It can take forever, but I can do it. I love it. You definitely want to uh, take advantage of those lines when you see them. Because it'll be shortcut for them later. Coming back through, just instantly come up here instead of uh, having to kind of puff it around. We've got another upgrade here. Full power. Um, I'm not really sure what I want to do with this. I can do skills again. I think I think I will. Mostly because I want to be able to use my items. I find myself waiting for those cooldowns a lot. And the more we use the ice range, the more enemies won't be able to hit us. And the more we're going to be able to use our broadsword center. What do we got in here? We got a throwing knife? We're all turret, excuse me. Type of fires enemies inflicting damage, level 6 thing. You can release a toxic cloud when they die, and shots pierce the first target. Um, a regular grenade feels like it's starting to come out class. So I think I will go ahead and pick that up. See how it works for us. If I remember right, they weren't terribly impressive the last time I was using them. But, um, you know, might as well give it a shot. That's up here, right? Teleport forward. These are the Brinthian almost. They're interesting. They're designed. 
gotta... it out we made it Got some bear traps I don't really care I don't think they're gonna be any better than what we got now so bear traps don't stun enemies they just kind of lock them in place they root them um which is just not quite up to what we already got I feel like before this when I was playing last okay cool I'm a little worried there uh, I feel like before this, when we were playing last, our, uh... Oh, can't get to that. How do we get to those rooftops? I feel like I, I really need to. Um, but anyway, I feel like when we were playing last, it was really hard to find skills. And it feels like they're appearing a lot more frequently now. Maybe it's just the early levels, they don't come up as much. We gotta be able to get up there. Up from up here, maybe? Oh yeah, we gotta explore all this. We gotta get up there. Okay, here we go. I don't even know if we should be going for a floor. But the the end is kind of not necessarily at the far right of the level. Um, last time it was just kind of in one of these random little alcoves. Ow. Ooh, help us great. Perfect. That's what we wanted. Awesome. 557 is a good number to be at. We're not sure if I'm doing bad. It's kind of sad. This is the, up this is the, the next level. I'm really tempted to do this now. You know what I think I'm going to? Um, because we're out of heals, we can very easily die. I want to kind of stock my stuff and move on. We explored most of that zone. Um, pretty happy with, with our upgrades we got from it. We're, we're feeling a bit stronger. Our meat grinder inflicts damage and bleeding to enemies walking on it. So I believe it's like a trap. We're very close to our next level of healing flask. Gonna fill up here just for the we're going to go to our graveyard the second time. Uh, if I remember correctly, we died pretty fast in the graveyard uh, last time we went. But I'm frankly happy to make it again. That's right, you guys will definitely die. Well, I'm going to get these out a little easier. Run, run, run. Okay. It's interesting with the broadsword because how the moves that um, you get a straight swing the first hit and then it starts going horizontal. The enemies oh that's terrible. The enemies above you don't get hit until you got your level going on. Just a better version of our turret. And these burn when they die and applies oil to the victim upon deployment. Okay. Sure, sounds good. And I'll do some more damage, of course, with this. Return to entry. Um, 
tempted to use a healing thing right now. But I also kind of want to hold on to it because it's right at the beginning of the floor. Ooh, okay. Burn it. Burn it all to the ground. And we're starting to feel a little uh, underpowered again as far as our damage is concerned. He's the one that should have last time. Now we're definitely going to let us save him though. Those guys are still pretty, pretty much chumps. Go in, go in here, see what we find. I like the look of the graveyard. It's cool looking. We definitely want to take advantage of it. Um, I think... I'm going to go with... Let's go shrink. Let's go shrink. We're going to return back to our injury and move on here. So pretty Ooh, run. Oh, I think the turret's very good. We find a pretty good um yeah, we can find a pretty good um, other weapon, other skill utilize instead of that. Um I think one reason the turret's not working very well for us at all. Is because it's not going to be going to free, which is unfortunate. It's gonna, he's kicked it off the ledge. That's actually very cool. So I think maybe we should endeavor to use either of the turrets with the ice bomb on kind of individual encounters. Unlock? I need a key. Fair enough. I don't know where to find a key, but uh. Cool. All right, so toss the turret down. Let it do some work. Oh, here I can show the turret. I, mean, I can just sit up here and spam the turret. It's gonna be pretty dull. But, uh... I mean, there's a key in here. I don't know. Whoop, whoop. Okay. Was a little dicey. Okay. So I think the real danger with them is their uh, damage, like their damage or anything. Seems to be very aggressive at all. Or the fact that they're falling all the flying enemies in the sand. Taking them out, things are going pretty well here. Oh, that hit. I'll see it's going better than the sewers. Oh! That's probably roughly the same event like in my death last time. Picking up the roll out of the way. This shred through enemies here and move on. We got a key. We did find a key. Cool. All right, so we're gonna be able to explore that room, see what's in there. If it's progression or it's just extra stuff. Got an HP up. We'll turn the entry here. I think we'll endeavor to go straight to the spot where the key is. Let's avoid the big guy with the chain, because he's scary. Open the great card. Dude just barely has time for full combo. And, uh, we're a little late on getting to him though. I don't love that. 
Treasure? No thanks. I do not trust that. I, I don't know. I don't, I don't know if it's the, the priest with the... I can't remember. The great time to get some chicken. I, I have no idea what to grab besides maybe snake or turtle. I mean, that is a viable way to you know, make things tougher. I'd love to be able to take out flies when he's a bit too That guy died like a chump. Love it. We're, we're making good progress. Hey, Doc, I am killing lots of man. I'm killing all the man. You doing good today, buddy? Kind of shop. We got grenade level 7 and ice grenade level 7. Slow down all nearby enemies when the victim thaws out. Victims suffer bleed damage when it thaws out. How much better is that? Frost rate is the slow lasts longer, and we already get the bleed bonus. I think I'm actually going to plus 100% damage on poison target. So if we can find some poison, that's fantastic. And it gives us a health upgrade too. And it's a big, uh, wow. Got over a thousand health now, that's nice. That's actually a big upgrade, that's a good thing. This is, this key path, it's huge. It's taking forever. Oh, stay away. I don't want to get hooked by him. Just a little hit there. Oh, we got hooked. Yeah. Got a roll. Need to drag the server. It's still by far best for damage. Guys, granted they are flying. Thing over here. Doing pretty good, Doc. Trying to progress the dead cells. This is actually the best looking run I've had so far. Uh, so I'm pretty stoked. Looks like I might actually finish the graveyard, unless there's like a boss or something that screws me up, which could very well happen. This is only the second time I've been to this. uh Stage. It's, uh, we're getting through pretty well. I think we placed some fighting. This is a huge side path. Blitz cranks with laser sickles? Yeah, pretty much. This is the same design. Oh no, oh. Okay, take care of the big boy. This is the same design of guy that killed me in the series. Not have nearly as much HP. It's the same enemy type. So it feels good to kill one. Let's 
Can't do anything with that. Yeah, progress. Doing stuff. Another shrink upgrade. We're up in the damage. We're damage. Six now. Might be the highest we've ever had him. For sure. The insufferable crypt. That definitely is. Definitely have not seen that before. Jump the out though. This level is huge. If we get the drop on them, they're not too bad. That room with this two sickle bros and uh them all together with a little much. Oof. Ow. But as you can see, we got a lot of our HP back just from the rally mechanics. Um, I think if we start to get too much damage, um, we get under half health, which I know we're really close to now. Um, yeah, if we get under half health, I think I'm going to... Oh, let's see him. Okay, sorry. We get much under half health, and then we're there now. Okay, let's see what those guys do now. Give it a week. We lose a, a whole lot more health. Heal. Which I probably will. We'll have to encounter. If I start getting much lower, we're going to move on to the crypt. I think we've got some blueprints here. I believe so. But I don't want to lose our cells. 32 of them. Good little, good little chunk. This place is so big. Alright, I'm gonna shop. Got a shield. What's this do? The viscera of dead enemy victims explode, dealing damage. And fires an arrow in front of you. I actually really like that. Might replace our blood sword, because it's kind of starting to get outclassed. I think I will. Damage taken reduced by 10%. You can jump three times. Yeah, I think I'm gonna get this assassin's dagger here. Replace the blood sword. Um, I kind of wish I didn't have to go through this, these traps again. That's a bit of a pain. But it's okay. I made it without too much trouble. There's a shrink upgrade that you see. Perfect. Glad I didn't leave the floor yet. Seven shrink. Which I'm almost certain is the highest we've ever had. Oh, I jumped right into those. Oh, we got a kebab. It's fine. Heal it right back. Um... Do I want to keep going right, I'm going to keep going right up here until I start getting a little scarier in the HP territory? Um, I'm going to opt out of fighting. In wow, that's a lot of Yeah, I'm very happy I replaced my blood sword. Um, if I find any elite enemies, I'm going to ignore them. Not really feel very confident without having any charges. Something's blocking the door, so we can't go that way. Okay. Those you normally have to open with like a button or a switch or something. This is where we found the key, so I guess we're done. I guess that's the floor. So we'll move on to the Discovery Crypt. See what that has in store for us. Okay. Turn in our 32 cells here. Very close to getting our next level of uh, healing flask, which is good because we're starting to get to the point where we really need it. We get a lot of benefit out of it. Okay. Uh, I think the next upgrades we should take are probably going to be health upgrades. I think it's probably the best idea. Big cool doors. Oh, it's another boss fight? The Watcher. Looks pretty neat. Uh, no idea what he does. Take damage. That's what he does. Really screwed up my order of operations there. Not to. Really like how this fight, uh, at least so far. 
I really like how this fight is at least so far. He made him mad, he didn't like that. He looked like the tentacles from the Day of the Tentacles. I like how this fight really utilizes a lot of the platforming in this game. That's pretty neat. Uh, the boss fight so far, I the two of them, uh, they're both pretty dynamic. Neat. Got a lot of interesting phases and stuff going on. Okay, so that just looks like we broke one of his chains. Watch out. Okay, I don't know what he does, so shock is very good. Like contact damage. Telegram attacks really well. Well, that's right, the assassin's dagger is both damage when I'm looking behind an enemy. I don't think this guy has a. If he does, I wouldn't be able to tell you what it is. Slowdowns are very helpful. Stop right through when we can. Should be like one or two more hits. The, uh, one or two more good hits. Ooh, we got two in. We're gonna heal, I think. I don't really wanna do that. Uh, if we can get him down on our first try, I will be super happy. I'm not looking forward to it. Phase is just seems to get harder. Uh, ooh, yeah. So we got one. Ooh, what is this? What is this? Dodge, dodge, dodge. Get, get out of the way. Get hit. That was close. It does seem to stop when he hits you, so he can't like, chain you down at least. As I turn green, he's about to shoot poison. So get far away to make it easy to dodge. Really, landing grenades has been kind of tough here. It starts to get pretty bullet belly. He's only got some more to get out of the way. Oh no, oh no. Oh, this is bad. Starting to lose a little focus. Oh, we got hit by one. You kill one tentacle, he lets you get the others increasing their speed and possibly damage. Oh, I didn't quite notice that's what he was doing, but that makes sense, Doc. That was cool. That was a good run. Kind of got my confidence back there. I'm very happy with it. Thanks guys for watching. If you would like, subscribe, comment, all those good things. And I'll catch you in the next one.